coming up this week on The Youth Perspective. It came from actually what's happening in our community. So much violence, gun violence, um, more so than any other type of violence that's, that's being reported. The concern level is great. We have to talk about it to address it. And in talking about it, it causes people to become, even though people are aware of what's happening, I think it's going to raise an even greater level of concern because a lot of times, you know, people can be nonchalant. People can be, they can be non-empathetic, right? right. You know, because right. it's not happening to any of us or our family members or our friends or people that we know. It's like it's distant, yeah. but it's closer than we can imagine. The Youth Perspective, where we shine the light on the youth of our nation. You don't want to miss this episode each Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on 1540 a.m. Power 104.5 FM, the national voice of the Bahamas. I'm trying to be great, and I'm on my way, way up, way up, way up. It's never too late, and I'm on my way. I'm going to leave my mark. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set. With so much negativity being yielded at the youth of our nation, it seems hard to find any signs of a bright future. Coming from a legendary past, the new generation of Bahamians seek to take this nation to heights it's never seen. That's where the youth perspective comes in. We seek to display tomorrow's leaders in every facet of society. Each show will focus on today's pace setters trendsetters, movers, and shakers, and the next generation of great, impactful Bahamians. We seek to uplift, motivate, and encourage our listeners. Tune in as we address issues of importance with wisdom and intelligence, all from the youth perspective. The youth them now spare no less Too much man a shot it Too much man a shot it Too much man a shot it The man them now spare no less Too much man a shot it Thou shall not kill, thou shall not destroy Hit him not the pipe and land you hear it from your boy Then you used to go to Sunday school as a boy not a game, not a time You don't bring back where you go kill and destroy You make another baby mama start cry Funeral clothes, them run gang go by Tell me, where you want go tell me most time Who blotted murder a long time, who should host you? But we never remember if you ever did answer How you really feel when you kill off another deep down inside? How you really, really hungry? Too much man shot shotted Too much man shot shotted Too much man a shot it. Too much man a shot it. The man them na spare no less. Too much man a shot it. How you even like the devil is that how your mother go do? Tell me if the things you do, your father tell you go do. If I never tell them, tell the whole of you. Who, who tell you if you do them, them things and why you do them things, things you do? Who oh, have you know if you have love in your love heart? Are you love in your heart? Are you loving in your heart? Too much 
man a shot it. Too much man a shot it. Too much man a shot it. The man them not spare no lead. Too much man a shot it. And we're back. Welcome to another edition of The Youth Perspective with yours truly, Cashing and Jamal. Where we shine the light on the youth of our nation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for locking it in on 1540 AM, 104.5 FM, the national voice of the Bahamas. Inspiration, 107.9 FM, and the light, 810 AM in Grand Bahama, ZNS3. All right, as always, great to come to you live each and every Saturday where we have great guests, great, great topics, uh, but we focus on the youth of our nation. And uh, when I saw this initiative, I thought it was quite fitting uh, for the times that we're living in right now uh, to be able to share uh, what's going on. And just before this interview, yeah, you heard that new song, ladies and gentlemen, Too Much Man Dad. And we have Mr. J in the studio, no stranger uh, to our station, no stranger uh, to uh, what we do here. Uh, but of course, in a different capacity tonight, uh, not just uh, the artists, uh, but we're, we're sharing uh, this initiative tonight. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about tonight, the Too Much Man Dad anti-crime campaign. We're going to talk about it tonight. Uh, how you doing? Welcome back to the U Perspective. Greetings to everyone listening in. Grace, mercy, and peace to you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And to you, my brother Cash again. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. And it's a joy and a pleasure to be here to, you know, share light and offer words of inspiration, encouragement, motivation, and words that will help us to draw closer to God because the closer we draw to God, um, the better it is not only for our personal lives, but also for our homes, our neighborhoods, our communities, our country at large when we focus on home. But um, on the wider scope, the world at large, as we see uh, so much is going on in the world, in particular in Haiti and um, Ukraine and all of those places, because, you know, it's a, a lack of God in our lives. Mm. So, yeah, happy to be here. I want to share a little bit uh, what you shared uh, in in this document that you shared with me. Uh, the Too Much Man Dad anti-crime campaign is designed to address the level of violent crimes and death occurring in the Bahamas. Nassau being the central focus of the campaign. The safety of citizens and residents is also a paramount concern due to the cases of innocent persons falling victim to careless and callous actions of individuals engulfed with rage and revenge seeking to unleash on their intended target. Uh, so tell me, what, where did this initiative come from? Like where, obviously you shared it here, but I mean, what, what was your uh, particular inspiration to mm -hmm. bring this about? Well, based on what you just read um, from the Too Much Man Dead Vision, anti-crime um, campaign vision document, mm -hmm. it came from actually what's happening in our communities. Right. You know, so much violence, gun violence. Yeah. Um, more so than any other type of violence that's that's being reported. And so the concern of innocent people becoming uh, victims of uh, unintended gunfire, that's a serious thing. Because it could be you or it could be me at any time if we're at the wrong place at the wrong time. And so the concern level is great. And uh, we we need to talk about it mm -hmm. in a, in one way of addressing it. But of course, there's a whole lot more to be done, right. um, and that falls uh, straight at the feet of those who we have um, decided to control things for us in the nation. Mm -hmm. And so we have to talk about it to address it. And in talking about it, it causes people to become even though people are aware of what's happening. I think it's going to raise an even greater level of concern because a lot of times, you know, people can be nonchalant. People can be not, they could be non-empathetic, like, right. you know, because right. it's not happening to any of us or our family members or our friends or people that we know. It's like it's distant, yeah. but it's closer than we can imagine yeah yeah and I, and I think they, what they often say you don't feel it until it comes to your doorstep mm -hmm. that is on your doorstep mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want it to get that close no yeah not yeah. at all yeah, but yeah. unfortunately it has it has for yeah. many and you know it's creeping mm -hmm. too many because there are a lot of um, persons out there that have done things and you know their 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 trail 
is still live. You know, their their predators are still tracking the trail and looking for them, and mm-hmm. other people who are associated with them are in danger as well. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and so that's what that's what we've seen. We've seen over the the weeks and the months. Uh, but tell me, how does this campaign seek to address address that? Seek to you know take that head on? Mm-hmm. Well, just like the scripture says that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But the focus is on hearing, mm. and in order to hear, it it says that there has to be a preacher. And so, when we hear things, it generates a whole lot of other things within our minds. And so, this campaign is focused on on speaking up, mm-hmm. so people can hear and so it can trigger emotions of care and concern and also um, challenge them with a call of action to do something as well what we're doing communicate about it even if it's their wayward uh, family member talk to them about what they're doing Mm -hmm. warn them about what they're doing um, encourage them to find another path of living their lives instead of the destructive destructive manner that they're living. And so all of that is a part of helping trigger a change because our minds need to be constantly reminded about what the reality is about things and so that we may be more fully aware and conscious of it and and, um, pay more attention. Uh, Not only do we want to talk about it to bring awareness and also cause people's minds to trigger to a change being needed, we also um, addressing young men who we encounter in our communities uh, with offering them um, skills. Yeah. We, we want to train them in certain areas that they probably may be interested in that's being offered within the anti-crime campaign, such as appliance repair, mm-hmm. um, mechanic, mm-hmm. be, becoming a mechanic, uh, plumbing, and also um, carpentry. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, before, because I, I want to dive into that a little bit. Um, when we talk about the young men of the nation, uh, are you one of those persons who purport to believe that, that all is lost with our young men? No, I don't believe all is lost. Um, I believe it will be lost if we don't do anything to try mm. and turn the tides. Yeah. Because I remember when I was younger, I, I can't remember what I did, but I probably did something mm-hmm. um, you know, disturbing or disgusting or something that made my one of my neighbors angry. I probably maybe was around 15 or could have been 14 at that time. Mm-hmm. And I remember clearly he said to me, you? You can be a old thief. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. So it's probably something that I did to annoy him, mm-hmm. and so I didn't turn out to be a thief. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Right. Quite the opposite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so all is not lost. Yeah. We just have to be there in mm-hmm. their air. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so tell us, tell us about these uh, these skills uh, that you want to provide, because we know that uh, when not just even young men, but when even young women are just uh, they have a lot of free time, you know, they could get into, you know, all manner of things. And so this is an effort to be able to give them skills, to be able to put some in their hands so they could be able to feed themselves or maybe even feed a family. Mm hmm. Well, if we do come across young women, we're not discriminatory. If Mm -hmm. we do come across young women that are interested, Mm -hmm. you know, that are Mm hands-on and they're inclined to um, pick up a trade, by all means, they're welcome to be a part of this um, experience. Mm -hmm. But our concern and focus is really on young men. Right, right. You know, we believe that um, just just as God gave Adam work to do, they need something constructive and productive in their lives, not only for them, but also something that they will have um, under their belt, so that they can be able to take care of their family, which will which will which will empower them to be entrepreneurs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Business owners. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they could maybe even go back into the na- their neighborhoods yes. and be able to to share their skills with the young man who they grew up with. Oh, that'll be beautiful to see, um, mm-hmm. because a lot of times. Um, persons tend to want to keep what they have to themselves. Right. But we're all going to die one day, mm-hmm. and when we die, it's all gone. Mm-hmm. So it's not a thing, even if we may have, may have spent time in school, we may have spent X amount of dollars receiving an education mm-hmm. and think that, oh, I spent too much to give it to, for free to somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's not a good way of, of viewing things mm-hmm. because we are our brother's keeper. And the nation is only as good 
as each of us individually make it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everybody has to lend a hand in whichever way that they can do it. You just need to put your hand in the pot. Yes. And so we could bring all the skills, all the the abilities, everything together. Most definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so tell us a little bit more about these trades. Okay, well, appliance repair, mm-hmm. that would be a washer and dry repair, which I do. I'm a washer and dry repair technician. Mm-hmm. And so guys who may be interested or girls who may be interested, they could learn the basics of appliance repair. And that also will put them in a position to be like myself. I'm Mm self-employed. I no longer work for a company. Mm -hmm. I am the company. You are are the company. (laughs) (laughs) That's powerful. (laughs) So if you want to be the company. (laughs) You can be the company. You can be the company. Yes. (laughs) Uh, We also have a mechanic on board. Um, He's also, I guess, a lot of, you you know, Monty Sweat. Okay, Monty Sweat. Okay, all right. right. Uh, Music artist Monty Sweat. He's Uh also... On board, he's um, the guy who mm-hmm. has the mechanical skills when it comes to auto repair. Okay. And um, we also have um, another person you know as well. Yeah. DJ Don. All right. <laughs> DJ Don. What's going on, DJ Don? He's a plumber. <laughs> oh, he's a plumber. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so, pl- persons that are interested in learning plumbing, mm-hmm. you know, we have DJ Don on board mm-hmm. who can teach them plumbing. He's an ace plumber. Okay. Yeah. And also, we have. Um, another one you may you know not yeah. may know yeah. Unlimited Angel okay who's an ace carpenter, carpenter yeah, and yeah. builder and builder yeah. yeah oh yeah he's fantabulous man yeah, yeah I've really seen good. some of his work he yeah. did the, the magazine stuff mm-hmm. 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 wow and so is there any, any more skills for That's now for that. Okay. just those right there and if persons are listening to you right now and they say listen I have a trade um, maybe electrical, you know, maybe another trade out there uh, that they want to put in the pot as well. And they say, you know what, I want to be on board on this and I want to be able to assist. How can they How can they reach out to you? They can reach out to me via telephone or WhatsApp. That's 242-818-4053 mm-hmm. or email, which is Mr. J. Reggae, M-R-J-R-E-G-G-A-E at gmail.com. Right. And let me ask you, is, is there a charge uh, for the young men uh, and, you know, maybe any young women out there want to be a part of it? Well, like um, um, one of your former colleagues used to say when it, when calling calling off the uh, election results, zero, <laughs> zero. <laughs> the one and only Daryl Miller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So there's absolutely Zero free. charge. Wow, wow, wow. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. <laughs> Oh, that's tremendous. And so young <laughs> men, they could be able to come on board and they could be able to learn uh, from one of the, the persons who are doing the skills and mm-hmm. they could be able to learn from them as well. Yes. Oh, that's going to be powerful. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Is there a start date? Well, not as yet because okay. we haven't had any any persons who have expressed interest. As a matter of fact, um, the outreach have been hampered a bit, mm-hmm. but we've renewed our efforts to get back into the communities. Our first um, community visit was was last year and um things some you know a lot of technical stuff happened that kind of hampered stuff mm-hmm. in terms of um sound system issues and that sort of mm-hmm. thing but we're back on track and we're gearing to get back into the communities spread the word and um you know make ourselves available all right indeed mm-hmm. now uh is there anything else you want to share about uh, this anti-crime campaign uh, that persons should know that you really want them to to get from this interview? We also have um, a compilation music album that's Mm -hmm. going to be attached to the campaign on the way. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a one rhythm or a one track compilation album which features artists from here, Mm -hmm. uh, Barbados, Jamaica, Mm -hmm. Jamaica, uh, I think it's the guys from Kenya, but in, in Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have persons from Puerto Rico, uh, the U.S., and maybe in another country. Is all, all them on one track? On one track. Wow. wow yes. Wow. So that's going to be the, it's called the Hombre Dead Rhythm mm-hmm. Compilation. Okay. And it's titled Old Wild West. Wow. Which is what around here seems resembles, you know, the one of... Gunfire and lawlessness wow. that has been taking place. That's how the old Wild West used to be back in the day. Remember the cowboy movies? Yeah, it's great, Everybody yeah. had a gun, mm-hmm. slinging gun, wow. and you know, 
And so it, it resembles that. So the, the album is titled Old Wild West. And um, it's tied to this anti-crime campaign. And the message from each artist is addressing the issue of crime and violence mm. and calling for an end to these things. Mm -hmm. And we know the peace can only come through the Prince of Peace, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. so we're calling on persons to consider their way of living because the Word, the word of God says that our, our duty is to fear God and keep His commandments. And what we're seeing going on now, people are not fearing God and people are not keeping His commandments. And the Bible says that the nation that forgets God shall be turned into hell. Mm. And um, these situations that we see happening are hellish situations. And in order for these hellish situations to cease, each of us individually must make up in our minds to turn to God and turn away from the works of Satan, mm. the devil, mm -hmm. who is instigating people to commit these acts that we see. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I think uh, to add to it, I think uh, when we look at community, when we look at environment, uh, being able to put our young men in a productive environment, because sometimes, you know, uh, you have that at school, you know, you have that with your teachers, but once you get out of those walls, mm -hmm. right, and you may not necessarily have that support system at home, but if they could get themselves around uh, young men such as yourself, you learn the trade, you could be able to get your hands in it, uh, and you never know what opportunities uh, mm -hmm. can lie on the other side of you learning a skill. Uh, and you never know what doors can be open to you mm -hmm. uh, once you could provide that service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yep, that's that's it right there. Mm -hmm. And I also want persons to also look out for um, my good friend, Leroy, Apostle Leroy Butler, who's also uh, conducting a campaign. It's a school tour that, mm -hmm. that we're working together on. It's called The Blood of Jesus Stop mm -hmm. the Violence School Tour. So it's all the same thing mm -hmm. that, we're, that we're doing. Um, we've been to a few primary schools right now, and um, we're encouraging the kids from at an early age to consider their ways and to seek to be at peace with each other. Uh, you know, stop all the violent talks and, you know, friends and instigating friends to go and row with this one or to go and fight with this one because it stems from those small things. Yeah. And um, if, if we can get the children to understand that that is not the way that we are supposed to live and to uh, uh, behave ourselves with each other, even though we know Jesus said that um, offenses will always come mm -hmm. and um, these things will exist. But it is up to us, especially as um, individuals, leaders, to always encourage the young people, as, as the scripture says, again, as much as lie it within us, let us live peaceably mm -hmm. with all men. Yeah. And so that's what we want to we wanna drive home to our young people, to live peaceably yeah. with each other and learn how to resolve conflicts because we will always get into conflicts at some point. But there are ways to resolve them without all the violence. And so as we get ready to uh, wrap up the interview um, in just a few, um, is there any closing comments that you want to leave with the listening audience? Uh, once again, once again, though, before I do that, I uh, want to remind the listening audience that uh, you are able, uh, the young men out there, I think between the ages of 18 to 25, mm -hmm. uh, they're able to learn uh, skills training uh, in the fields of appliance repair, automotive repair, carpentry, electrical installation, and refrigeration repair. And so definitely give them the number one more time uh, mm -hmm. on the email. Yeah, That's 242-818-4053. Telephone or WhatsApp. Or you can email Mr. J. Reggae at gmail.com. That's M-R-J-R-E-G-G-A-E at gmail.com. All right. Now, before we let you go, uh, any closing comments you want to leave with the listening audience? My closing comments is let us consider our ways because um, as, 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 as the late Mahatma Gandhi said, if you're not a part of the problem, you are a part of, if you're not a part of the solution, you're a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And so let us be a solution. And that only true solution will come from 
a renewed place. When I say renewed place, I'm talking about a place where we have committed our lives to the Lord. And we are functioning according to His ways and not our ways. Because our ways, a whole lot of times, will lead into error. Hmm. But when we seek to follow the ways of God, He will always inspire us and direct us in all of our path. Yeah. And so I'm encouraging each and every one of us to draw closer to God so that he can draw closer to us and bring a change that we need. That is where the true change will come. I hope we do realize that because, you know, we've had multiple attempts of this and that, and we've seen the surge come, mm-hmm. and things almost seem to remain the same. Right. And so let us commit individually our ways to the Lord, and he will bring the change and the peace that we need. Indeed. Well, we thank you so much, uh, Mr. J, for joining us uh, this evening on The You Perspective. Thank Always you. a pleasure uh, to have you. No stranger. And ladies and gentlemen, Too Much Man Dead anti-crime campaign where young men between the ages of 18 to 25 uh, will be able to learn uh, different skills, ladies and gentlemen. Also, uh, a compilation song will be released, and hopefully we'll be able to get that uh, once it's released as Most well. Most definitely. All right. And, of course, you heard the new song uh, just recently released, Too Much Man Dad. You heard it at the top of the show. And so definitely we thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening in, being a part of it. And make sure uh, follow Mr. J on social media. How can they find you on social media? Facebook, that's Mr. J Bahamas, M-R-J, the word Bahamas. Twitter, or X, formerly Twitter, <laughs> at Mr. J Reggae, Instagram, Mr. J Bahamas two four two. I have a TikTok, but I haven't used that, and I can't know. I can't say how long. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used that in a while. Well, I tell you, I know, I know, I know. Be neat. <laughs> but uh, we thank you so much for being a part of the thank show. You, thank and you. And we look forward to doing this again thank real you. soon. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening. All right, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for listening in to the U Perspective, U Perspective each and every Saturday. We appreciate you, and we do the show for you. All right. So make sure you have yourself a wonderful evening. Be safe. Yours truly, Cashing and Jamal. And this has been another edition of The Youth Perspective. Good evening. I'm trying to be great. And I'm on my way. Way up, way up, way up. It's never too late. And I'm on my way. I'm going to leave my mark. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. I hope you enjoyed another edition of The Youth Perspective. Stay tuned for more interviews, more in-depth conversation, great music as we seek to encourage, empower, impact, and uplift our youth of this nation. Here on The Youth Perspective, we'll see you next time right here on The Youth Perspective with Kashyyyk and Jamal.